One of the most powerful things you can assign to your personal brand as a creator is style. A style that makes you distinguishable from the crowd. So in this video, I want to explore five motion graphic styles you should know, and more importantly, how to create each concept. So whether you're looking to broaden your arsenal of tricks or form a strong After Effects style, let's get started. The first style we're going to explore is called Neomorphic Design. Now, what the heck does that even mean? Well, in simplistic terms, there's usually three characteristics from this design form. Monochromatic color schemes, lower contrast, and subtle shadows. And it's super easy to create the style for your motion graphics. And sorry, but no savvy definition from me. To create this, make sure your graphic is the same color as your background, preferably a very light gray. And even though this looks white, I promise it's not technically 100% white. Then with your graphic ready, go to Effect, Perspective, and add drop shadow. Set the opacity to around 25%, increase the distance to about 10 and the softness to 25. Then duplicate the shadow, perfect. And now let's do another duplicate, but change the color to white and set the direction to the other side of the graphic and change the opacity to 100% and the softness to about 50. Then of course, do another duplicate. And okay, the drop shadows are complete. If you wanna be a big baller and hang out with the cool kids, go to perspective and add bevel alpha and make sure to place this effect on top of the food chain and then change the angle to the direction of your white shadow and set the intensity down by a touch. And that's all there's to Neomorphic Design. It sounds cool and looks cool. The next style you must know is Corporate. Unfortunately, not every style in this video will have a cool hipster name, but being able to pull off a corporate style of design is so important as you'll likely need to call on it at some point in your motion design destiny. The corporate style is all about clean and bright graphics and never ending light sweeps. For titles and logo reveals, you want to keep the animations as simple as possible. For example, I have my title here animating in from a 3D perspective. However, the corporate style can be broken down into three steps. One, using light sweeps. Go to Effect, Generate, and select CC Light Sweep. You can adjust these settings over here, but you want to animate the center to slide the light across your title or logo. Then you can duplicate this effect and offset the keyframes to have multiple light sweeps. Second, lens flares or light leaks are so valuable. You just need some form of moving light. I'll link this light leak that I'm using for free in the description below. And this light leak does come from our light leak pack here in our motion duck extension. And third, subtle motion. Use a null object and parent all your layers to it. Then just animate the scale to push your scene in or out. And everything is coming together, but I'll leave you one last tip. For your background, make it white and apply the CC vignette effect from Stylize. You'll thank me later. But now you can make the big bucks with all your corporate clients moving forward. Speaking of creating stylized motion graphics, you can get 100 free templates from us for After Effects and Premiere Pro along with our breathable motion duck extension. This is where you can browse templates and apply them into any of your projects. Then you can easily adjust the parameters of the control layer and boom, a simple way to impress your clients or your parents. But also we have over 25,000 other templates available to you to help assist you in any of your projects. So whether you need seamless transitions, infographics, graphic effects, or just creative elements, you can check out everything for your future projects, including our free pack with the link below. Grunge, texture, grit, waffle house. If you want to make a statement or add a strong sense of mood, we'll take a look at this motion style. This is probably the easiest style to pull off as you really only need a single texture image that you can easily search up for. Creating grunge can be as simple as taking a PNG texture and setting the track mat of a title or a graphic to that image. However, if you're really looking to blend your texture and background together, well then place your graphic on top, then duplicate the background texture and turn it off. For your graphics layer, set the track mat to the duplicated background texture. And to control the strength of your blend, go to Effect Color Correction Curves. Then adjust the points on the curves to control the blend. If you need to duplicate the original texture for a quick fix, you can do that as well. And just like that, creating texture of your graphics is that simple. Style number four time, and this style is glass. This is a great technique to make your primary graphics stand out on any background, and it's so easy to pull off. All you need to do is create a shape for your glass, then go to layer, layer styles, and select drop shadow, and then go back and add an inner glow. Set the drop shadow to around 40% and the size to around 200. For the inner glow, set the opacity to around 10%, the color to white, and the size to, well, 40. Lastly, go into the blending options and set the fill opacity to 0%. 
then duplicate this layer and delete the layer styles, and I swear I'm not wasting your time. When ready, take your background layer and duplicate it as well. Set the track mat of that background duplicate to the duplicate shape. For your duplicate background, go to Effects, Blur Sharpen, and add Fast Box Blur. Set the blur radius to around 100 and the iterations to 4, and then take your original bottom background layer and set that track mat to the shape layer. And make sure you click the invert icon. And that's how to create glass style motion graphics. Try not to break anything. And for the moment you all been waiting for, the final style that we have is minimal. Before you click off the video because you're like, wow, this is so easy because, well, it's minimal. Anyone can throw down a single title and be done. However, there's an actual strategy to discuss when it comes to minimalism because this style is much more than just throwing down one or two graphics. Animation is key. The safest way to go about minimalism is contrast and portion. An art style that uses limited elements, lots of negative space, and typically a simple color palette. For example, with these graphics, our primary title takes up the center space, and the secondary title is much lighter and smaller, and it's below the main title. Then we throw an additional graphic on top of everything to create balance. So yes, you can use elements just for design purposes with minimalism. Now, when it comes to minimalistic animation, all keyframes should be the same length and animation velocity. So you'll notice that every animation is exactly one second in length and every set of keyframes has the same speed style in the graph editor. And most importantly, the animations are simple consisting of one motion. The titles animate from the bottom and the arrow rotates around like a clock. So pacing and making it easy for your brain to comprehend what's going on is at the root of minimal design for motion design. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and always be creating.